Okay, so welcome to um, Trello, and uh, it's quite a simple process, um, quite a simple tool to use. It's really a tool for managing tasks and uh, communicating around those, so it's a it's a great thing. Uh, you will have access. I'll send you a link to this welcome board, so you can go here and have a play around. But but basically, um, and you're actually watching the video that says watch this this video. So um, I, I guess um, Trello's quite a simple concept it's based on having these columns and we can add in as many columns or lists as we like right so it's a series of lists but we've, we've given them different things on your particular board we'll have lists that are relevant to the things we're doing with you but um, basically we'll have different lists we can add a different list if we want to we can delete lists whatever and then each each of these is a card all right so I'll just click on it so it opens up so this is a card and we can uh, we can edit put the name description we can add comments comments we can do all sorts of things into it so I'll just take you through quickly how we add a card right so we go here and we go add a card all right so we give it a name we call it test and we add that and you click add and then it takes a little minute because it actually synchronizes with the cloud so sometimes if you're a bit internet's a bit slow it'll, it'll come up and say this card doesn't exist yet just give us a minute once you've done you just click on it again then you you can put in a full description so you can write in you know um, this uh, project is about you know blah 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 and we can type in all what we want to put in there right then you save that and then you go all right the members of it so who are we going to add into it and you'll have we set up a board for you so I should say sorry these are all boards I forgot to mention that so your board will actually have a team of members there, and we can add members to it but you you know you would add other people to your to your um, to that particular thing that you would want them to be engaged so anybody you add to it it will it will send them emails backwards and forwards saying hey you know Russell posted this um, to it and then you can go and look so you can add members, you can add different labels, you make it nice and coloured if you want, if you want to colour code it. You can add in a checklist and multiple checklists, and we can copy a checklist from somewhere else if you want. Um, so this checklist thread, I don't even know what's on it, and we just go add that. And you can see here, it is here. So the checklist is make your own boards, invite your team, whatever, and you can add another item to it, which could be, you know, relax. Um, Alright, so we just add that in there, um, and that's, that's what happens. Hang on. Now you can add multiple checklists if you want. So you just leave it there and you've got a checklist and you can add another checklist. Um, if you add the same checklist and you've to multiple boards, then you can... Uh, so if you've added other checklists to your board, then you can add it to multiple cards as you go. So you can have a common checklist that you just automatically copy into every card. And you can actually copy cards as well. So a whole heap of uh, things there. So you've got a checklist. You put a due date on it. So you just pick the next due date. Um, and then you can add attachments. Now you can add them from your computer or any, maybe if you've got an online service like OneDrive or whatever, or you can put a link into a website or anything, and you know, just quite simply. So if we just go, um, you know, uh, to my computer um, and we find, uh, uh, just go, uh, I don't know where we'll go to get one, um, in a OneDrive, but um, if I just go into consulting, reference materials, strategy and so let's put in a handout right so we just add that change success handout in there you see it uploads so steam powered internet here but it will upload um, and then it appears now when you write comments so you can write a comment you know um, so you can say you know I might be writing to you and say hey uh, Mary um, can you have a look at this for me yeah okay all right, so add that in, and then I, I can add an attachment there if I want to, another attachment, or I can mention a member of your board, or I can put a smiley face if you're into that, um, or I can add another card in that's that's added added to that. But um, let's say I wanted to look at that change success handout, she'd put it there. So that just posts up there. You can go back and edit that or delete that later if you want to. All right, and then Mary then gets an email if she's been if she's one of the members, she actually gets an email saying. With that saying, hey, can you have a look at me? And she can click on it and, and come here. So some stuff there. You can also move board cards between things. You can copy a card. So if you'd set up one as a template if you want to, 
and copy it or you could actually subscribe to it if you aren't a member um, sometimes and then down here there's a bit more stuff you can print it um, you can actually link directly to it from a web from the web or something or you can delete it all right so there's a there's a card there so there's lots of different things you can do to get some real power in it the real things are about adding comments and and talking about it and adding in attachments for updates on it sort of stuff to it all right so um, off to mobile tech by the looks of it so that's the um, that's that sort of test card all right so it, it sort of appears there hope that makes a bit of sense um, quite easy to use with cards you just drag them so you know that's on the welcome thing but let's say we actually wanted to be an intermediate we'll just drag it to there so how I tend to use it is I drag things you know this is increasing order um, I tend to drag things and I try to drag them and put them in order of priority so the most urgent things I put at the top okay so I drag them around now you can drag them to other card other boards all that sort of stuff if we want to all right so does that make sense I hope so any questions just get back to me it's quite simple get in and use it and you'll find it's an amazing tool all right talk to you later bye